We start you off at noon with breaking news. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Nicole Nalepa. Seymour police have made an arrest in the case of a hit and run that killed a local couple. James and Barbara Tambora were hit crossing Bank Street back on December 10th. Let's get right out to Channel 3 Eyewitness News New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland, who is live there in Seymour now. Matt, what more can you tell us? Well, you know, uh, just last week, Nicole, Seymour's police chief, the couple's three kids, made an emotional plea asking for the public for help in finding the driver of this deadly hit and run. Well, today we've learned police have made an arrest. In fact, Seymour police tell us that they will be releasing more information this afternoon with an update uh, of this investigation. Now, this all started two Fridays ago. That's when James and Barbara Tambora were leaving a wake at a funeral home on Route 67. Seymour police officer actually had traffic stopped and was helping the couple cross the busy road when a dark colored Acura SUV came speeding through hitting the couple. Police say the car briefly stopped before speeding off towards downtown Seymour, likely getting on Route 8. 81 year old James Tambora was killed. Barbara, his 81 year old wife, was rushed to the hospital but passed away five days later. Now, based on evidence at the scene, investigators believe the SUV had damage to one of its front headlights. We're told not only did they make an arrest but also located the vehicle as well, with police thanking the public for their assistance along with a number of tips that came in. Now, I heard from the couple's daughter, Linda, this morning, in which she shared a Facebook post saying, on behalf of our family, we would like to thank everyone for their support and prayers. We'd like to thank all public figures, the police force, officers, task force, and especially the public, those who sent in anonymous tips, the news reporters that helped keep our story visible and in the public eye, the outpouring of caring and compassion we received from those close to us and from those whom we have never met has been overwhelming and comforting. Although we realize there is nothing that can bring our parents back to us, we find solace in knowing there are very good people living exemplary lives. James and Barbara would be proud. Again, now Seymour police tell us they will be doing an update at 2 o'clock. More information on the arrest. Of course, we will stream it live on the Channel 3 app, and then we'll have a full recap coming up tonight on Eyewitness News at 5. We're live with the mobile newsroom in Seymour. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.